I'm out here getting some holes put in this log manifold. I've been making a ton of turbo kits and I have this solution here that I think is pretty interesting. So making holes into the log manifold is a nightmare, especially if you're using scheduled pipe. Um, hole saws can be helpful, but they're really, to me, I didn't like the idea after trying a few times. If you have like a bridge port or some really nice tooling with a jig, sure, it's awesome. I don't have that stuff. I have a really small shop. And so I was thinking that a plasma cutter would help. So I got a plasma cutter years ago and it created more problems than it did help. There's a bunch of dross on the inside of the pipe, meaning like all the slag or like inclusions it was just disgusting and I couldn't get it clean. It, it was almost, I threw that piece away actually years ago. So a little bit later on, I was talking to a friend of mine, Jerry, and he said, well, usually don't they run water behind plasma in like manufacturing? I said, Man, that makes a lot of sense. So I kept playing with the idea and I had a couple of rudimentary pieces that I used to get water flowing through the manifold. But let me show you what I have here today. So this is pretty cool. Here's our manifold. We have a couple of them over here. Here's my really cheap, yes, welder plasma cutter. It is absolutely nothing special. And uh, I have this piece here that my friend Jamie hooked me up with. The design of, actually he printed these too. Um, it says made in fab, which is rad. But yeah, he, he designed it. It's got a hose barb fitting and it goes right on to a schedule 1090. Um, connects to this hose barb that has a ball valve. It goes straight over to my hose, right? So now we have a nice, a nice flow of water. And there's a finished one. You can see inside there, it is pretty. There are no issues in there, none at all. Uh, yeah, it's gorgeous. So that's pretty cool. I can kind of show you real quick what the flow actually will look like. And I have this uh, little plate here. It's actually blocked off this side. I'll pop holes, just little little holes so we can get some water flowing. I make sure I got a good amount of water in there. And yeah, we start getting down to business. That's pretty awesome. Um, it's taken me a while to get to this point. You'll still see, you'll see that I still have some, uh, some dross or slag, whatever you want to call it, in the runner hole or in the log. And with that, I'll just go to the Makita with a nice die grip, die bit on it, put the runners on, fit it up. Uh, man, that, that has been a huge help. So I'm loving that, I just wanted to pass it on. Just doing some fabrication stuff out here, trying to help give back to those who hook me up. So actually if you need one of these, you can hit me up, uh, mayhemfabaz at gmail.com and maybe I can help you out. Or if you need a fitting for a different type of pipe, I could probably help you out with that too. So that's all I got for you today. Hopefully you guys are doing well. We'll see you on the next time I'm out, peace.